and has had a number of good games as well para sa Laguna this year. So individually, it could be some sort of a dub has been recovered by Jay Gars this year. We saw that a lot last year for Bacolod. Unfortunately, he's he, he's playing in a very depleted roster this year. Yeah. As to those five to seven players, of course, they're going to have to fight for those spots. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. And that's why we continue to say that whatever situation or environment that you're in, inside that court, it is your duty to be able to give your best, not just for the teams you're playing for, but for the fans as well. Four, as Pontejos brings the ball down, Jagars will attack, and he was blocked by the all-star Alcoriza, but Caminales will clean up the... That I've been talking about earlier. You know, for other people who don't understand, that might seem like to open yourself up to better pastures, to get better contracts, to be get higher pay, give a good account of himself for this season. I'm sure what he's experienced this year will only bode well for his career moving forward. And to your point about him being the main... So if the management and the leadership of the heroes in the coming season, well, especially coming into next year, the sixth season will shape up differently para sa kanila. Well, we did receive some good news though from Coach Nat Gregorio. As Jerome Garcia makes a three-pointer that there's some positive light happening nowadays for Laguna. As like 15 to 12 with under four minutes in the opening frame as Kevin Alice scores inside. Both teams here early on are exhibiting good exit finding Paolo Kiminales on the roll, a little pick and roll. At the left side of the basket, that's just poor help defense and too little of communication coming from the Bulacan Kuyas. The MPBL this season, second, he got to work alongside the Jericho Daniera in the pros. The guy is extremely overwhelmed by the draft offers from other teams so he is just two teams recruiting him that's gonna be very interesting para sa kanya I've always liked the way Reds Alcoriza conducts himself there's a turnover Bulacan's on the run Miguel the drop off Alcoriza could not score there's Guevara and Justin was fouled recently concluded slam dunk competition sa ating all-star day in the Bataan People's Center ginaya niya yung ginaya niya CJ Ganya sa finals yeah. Corio Hopeful for the last game of Laguna in this season and for next season as well. Ooh! This is not good. It's Ron Suzon getting at it with Alan Nanonuevo. See, that could be a very good choice. I, I was I was really expecting that you would say Mark. Alan Nanonuevo has his first technical foul on Bulacan Guyas, number one, Ron Suzon, for unsportsmanlike like behavior. Oh, it was the Dicatoria in Nanonuevo. Trying to close him out. Natamaan sa mata. And yeah, he, he took that personally. But I don't think there was any intent to hurt Ganakay Anuevo. Ron Jusan should be able to get used to these kinds of things. He's now playing in the professional league where. First free throw for Yuzon is no good. Oh, no, it's not a personal foul, mix. It's an unsportsmanlike oh, huh. foul on Anya Nuevo. That's why the two free throws club who replaces Allen and Nuevo. So I'm not sure, or I'm not sure about this, but they seem to be relatives. As we have seven seconds remaining in the opening frame, then Alcariza flies high for those two points. Hey, no, from Bulacan. Yeah. Well, they were doing it at the start of the season, but ever since they lost pieces, they haven't resorted to full court pressure defenses a lot. And Coach Jerry Codiniera at the helm, those two guys love to run pressure defenses for their squads. Fortunately, Coach Joseph Mabagos thinks differently. There's an outlet and an easy layup for Jordan Inga. To your point, Coach Alden Gray is actually present. With the change of defense today of Bulacan. Well, it could be they're trying to get Coach Alvin. And after that, they ran again with this speed by Entoy Segura onto Jordan Ingel once again. So then, it's Irving Mendoza on his attack. Great defense by Escoriza. 
forward pass again and two easy points for Kentoy Segura. Of getting back on defense, whether it's after a make or a miss, especially after a turnover, everybody's got to put in the effort here because if not, Bulacan will tear this game wide open. Getting back Pablo Panteo, so this Laguna 5 will have to do a collective effort in trying to produce points the offensive on the defensive side rather there's another turnover wow it's Jordan Ingel getting that three point play opportunity well, he's been running away with a lot of baskets but this time he was the one who made this happen off of that steal Labadito Caicel is absorbing the contact plus finishing that basket 14-26 now and Paulo Puntejos right on cue is back Nasalot na rin si Van Peña for Laguna as Kabila, Justin Guevara! Was that a slam? It was a slam, maybe you could characterize it as that. He still was able to hold on to the rim after, just not the cleanest. And you still get the two points. Here comes Paolo. Pontejos with his mustache on. Signature leader, yes sir! When you have hands as big as Paolo, you definitely have the luxury of being able to pump that basketball into those one-hand shots. And one last time, one more time, itong Laguna defense, Bulacan did not even run anything. They just went up for the shot and it missed. That's been the story of the second quarter for Bulacan as Irving Mendoza scores. Ito na naman from Alcoriza. He leans in and he scores. That looked like it was going nowhere, but finished with the inside hand. So it's been Ingel and Alcoriza here putting on the points for Bulacan. Oh, it's Paulo Botejos who answers back at the other end. By the way, looks like we're seeing a 2v2 scoring matchup here, Mix. So it's Jeremy Cruz now who makes a three pointer, but prior to that, it was Ingel and Alcoriza, no? Jay Garz is now up to. 17. Toy Segura joining in on the scoring party right now. Again, not much defense by Laguna. Poteo. Pat Vigiga, baseline drive. No good on the layup. And there's Sebastian working hard again. Ball ended up with Bulacan. One more offensive rebound and the putback for Ben Luzon. Nice fix. He even looked at his defender for pulling up. Boy, what a putback by Nya at that time. But uh, definitely after Floyd de Decatoria because now na talaga yan si Kuya Floyd. Oh, naman. <laughs> As Ken Arce scores it downtown. Oh, after John Wilson din. A few years after John Wilson. Ang alam ko magkasabay sa JR yung si John Wilson tsaka si Mabulak. Eh. Ooh. But almost the same era. Ooh, Jay Gars up and under. No basket. Nice fake by Paolo. He was fouled. Potejos has 10, the two leading scorers of Laguna. For those of you who are wondering why in, he's not going to shave it before they win it until they win a championship, Paulo Potejos just idolizes Bruno Mars. Sun misses. Here's Jay Gars. Garcia all the way for two. He has 21 points at half. Back in Palayan City, San Nueva po, no? And then our spawn games last week in Marikina because they do have some playoff implications as Jem Cruz opens up the second half with a three pointer. Just like the way we started this game, Jem Cruz with a three point basket this time. 63 to 50, Paulo Potejo scores inside. And not much adjustment for both teams in terms for the first two possessions of these two squads here in the second half. And Arce scores. You did mention you're expecting 65-52. That's Paolo who scores inside. That's Yuzon asking for the screen. There it is. Yuzon faking the pass and then ultimately he gave up the ball on the Justin. Short. Ball tap. 
Recovered by Alcoriza. There's the trailer. Arce, one more feed. Begiga will score. For the offensive squad to take care, or rather the defensive team to take care of the rebound to secure the possession. It the ball always oh, had a slow third quarter so far. Use on. Thought he was gonna pull up. There's the pass and the conversion from Boss R himself. And he's been very patient by the way. More often than not, he would shoot the basketball. Maybe this is the way that he would want to exit the fifth season of the MPBL as Renz Alcuriza gives us this layup on the break. Boards trying to lead Laguna to a victory here to snap their losing streak. Jay Gars finally scores. He's outing. Nung tinanong ko siya during halftime, alam mo na ba kung uh, nakailang points ka na? Sabi niya, hindi. So he's unaware of it as Matthew Bagiga scores from downtown. I was very much surprised to hear that answer from Do it, then I would say great acting to Jay Gars <laughs> because he really looked convinced when he was answering me. As Irvin Mendoza, the lead is 12. Pontejos on the run. What an escape from Paulo Pontejos. Potejos back at it. The pass to Jay Gars to tie his career high. Yes, sir. That career high was way back in 2021 during the year. Already quite decided that he will be able to break this in this quarter alone. And we still have 10 minutes ahead of us. 16 in the first half. Mendoza misfires. Rebound, Kiminales. And there's the putback. Abilities, that was almost a nice find. To Justin Sanchez underneath. Justin Guevara. Guevara. Now it's Vico Definitely. in the MPBL. They've the actually been doing well. 78-75, a miss by Pagliares. And there's the putback. The lead is just one. In favor of Laguna. Pagliares will attack. Turnover. Bulacan's on the run. Three on one. Justin Guevara all the way for the slam. Then there's a steal for the Kuyas, a 2 plus 1 opportunity for Matt Begui. But you give up the basketball and Bulacan with the way that they've been running here in this game, you would expect that they would finish every fast break opportunity with a basket that time. Umabot nga sa punto na may tinalunan siya no? na kanyang kaibigan. Or in that elbow area and that is where he operates. Still not much post moves coming from Kiminales but over time that I'm sure will definitely develop. Nice pass onto the cutting. 44 seconds remaining in the third. The Giga on the drive. Not a good pass there. Numbers for Laguna. And that's Santiago for two points. No basket. Five seconds to go. Jagar's on the run. The feed. Nice pass onto Jason Celis. A good job for Celis to be able. will be defending their home court for the let me count this 14th time as for these two teams Bulacan is looking for back-to-back -back victories Laguna naman looking to snap its 13 game losing streak a look at our quarter scoring on your screens 31 and 33 while they held Bulacan to just under 23 points in that third period so let's see how this plays out in this fourth quarter both teams so far, trading baskets once again. Torribio, no foul as well. Forward pass. David Santiago. Nice read by Jordan Ingel. And here comes Boss R. Ron Siuzon looking at his defender and he scores. Well, he's been waiting for that moment. To On to Kiminales. Pumping his way through. Gets Sebastian. Nice defense by Benson. Jordan Ingel on the run, and he scores. Previous play. I actually imagine their practice sessions from before, no? With Sebastian trying to contain Gabayni each and every day. Uh, Spat Anonuevo scores from downtown. Oh, that may have sharpened. Nico with the green. Forward pass, Jason Celis all the way for two. What about Jason Celis? He's been having uh, the best points in the third quarter and looking to produce more markers here in the fourth period. Oh, Benson Sebastian scores inside. He has eight points and seven rebounds now. To use that term, blue-colored workers, ito yung mga 
Puro hard work talaga pinapakita as Paolo Quimenales scores inside. Came today here in the MPBL. Yup, I just announced his retirement. Makes happy? Wow. That's why she had to, as soon as she got there, he was able to walk for a bit. So obviously that's a good sign for Renz Alcoriza. We're nearing the halfway point of the fourth quarter. Palares, that's, a, that's been his calling card his entire career. Playing defense, getting those steals, and finishing on the fast break. Such a good role model, not only to Laguna players, but to the rest of the MPBL players and fans as Jerome Garcia scores inside. Definitely would want to get a number of applauses for how Floyd de Decatoria conducted himself in his professional basketball career. Bench. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I wish everybody here would realize that it's already his last game. Dedicatorio, another feed to Miko Palares. The conversations between Emmer and uh, Commissioner Kenneth nowadays with uh, the playoffs fast approaching. Pita mo no kung gaano siya ka established as a role player. He's not even being given the ball right now. He's never really needed that amount of spotlight in his career as Jeff Cruz knocks down a three from top of the circle. And that's what you love about him. Shout out to you, Mika. Isa yung nagsimula ng Floyd Dedicatoria narrative for today. Ken Arce scores off the glass at him. This is the season high of Laguna in terms of scoring in the season. The previous season high was 102 as we mentioned. So what a way for you to end with a bang. It was Laguna's turn to be able to grab the lead. Get it to that man. He deserves oh, yes. a bucket. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Great job by Paolo Jimenez. And rightfully so.